According to the latest studies, it's estimated there will be more than 300,000 more cases of breast cancer diagnosed in the U.S. in 2020. That's one in eight women. And no, the second leading cause of cancer deaths in women does not take a break for COVID-19. As it turns out, cancer still grows even in a pandemic. Dr. Ann Koberman, breast surgical oncologist at Overland Park Regional Medical Center, knows it's important to take the coronavirus very seriously. But she's now also very concerned that in the month of March alone, they saw an alarming 90 percent drop in routine screenings for breast cancer. We definitely saw a big drop in screening mammograms uh, when the shelter in place took effect. And part of that was um, mammogram facilities limited the amount of people that could come in because they wanted to limit the spread of the virus. Um, and part of that was in uh, kind of safety precaution and fear out of the, the women um, in not going in to get their mammograms. And so we've definitely seen a lag in people kind of getting back into taking care of them, their, their kind of adult health maintenance. Understandably, there was an abundance of caution and confusion when the pandemic began, as trusted institutions such as the CDC urged delaying non-urgent procedures or screenings. But now that we've gained some knowledge of this virus and strict health and safety protocols have been put into place, it's important to get back to those routine screenings that can reveal abnormalities before they get out of control. The longer you go in between mammograms, the more likely it is we're going to diagnose things at a later stage. When breast cancer is detected early and is in the localized stage, the five-year relative survival rate is 99%. The only way to be confident about your breast health is to know the screening guidelines for your age and work closely with your doctor to identify your risk factors. Currently, we recommend um, breast awareness starting in late teens, early 20s, and that's just that you kind of know what your breasts feel like. Um, so if something changes, you know it's different. Uh, clinical breast exams usually start when you first start having pap and pelvic exams, uh, and we recommend those annually thereafter. And mammograms we recommend uh, starting at age 40 and continuing annually thereafter, unless you fall into a higher risk group, and then we may start earlier. Keep in mind, though, this year's mammogram appointment may look and feel a bit different than in years past. I do think it's important to be conscientious and try to be safe when you go in to get your mammogram. So if you normally go with your group of girlfriends, maybe you want to go just by yourself. Um, you want to limit the number of people in the waiting room at any given time. Uh, most places are spreading out appointments, so they have more time to, to clean in between. Uh, it's important to wear a mask uh, because you are going to be in really close contact with that technologist and we want to keep them safe and they want to keep you safe. Um, and if you have any kind of high risk health issues and you're very concerned about it, I would recommend calling the location where you get your mammogram because they may be able to make you the first appointment of the day or the last appointment of the day or, or kind of make some accommodations that can help minimize your individual risk. And obviously postpone any appointment if you do have a coronavirus symptom. For more from HCA Midwest Health, go to KCTV5.com slash HCA Midwest.